building.net components custom control example select new from file menu and select project select visual basic select windows select classic desktop select windows form control library give a meaningful name browse location and create the project Drag and drop the button from the toolbox. Go to the properties of the button. Change the caption of the button. ASP.NET allows the users to create controls. These user-defined controls can be classified into custom controls and user controls. Double click on the button to go to the code. Message dot show displays a dialog with the message to the user. Execute the project. The output will be like this. A project with an output type of class library cannot be started directly. Add a new project for testing the custom control. Go to Solution Explorer and right-click on the solution. From the menu add a new project. Now add a Visual Basic Windows Form application. Set this as the startup project. Again right click on the project and add reference. Now browse the location of the custom control which we had already created. Add reference to the custom control DLL that we have already created. DLL is the dynamic linking library which is linked to your program at runtime. Now custom control reference is added. Drag and drop the control. Execute the program.
output is displayed. Add another project. Add a Visual C Sharp Windows Form application. Set this as the startup project. Drag and drop the control. Execute the program. Output is displayed.